Well, uh, you know, talking, getting back to the uh, the album here, you have a song uh, called "Backyard," which uh, I'm assuming is your nod to uh, to racing, to NASCAR. Yeah, you're you're a fan. Yeah. Well, you know, um, I've seen all these places with cars in the front yards and the backyards, and <laughs> yeah. and we wrote that song for Swing Vote, a movie I made, mm -hmm. uh, and NASCAR just bought that s song. They just they just said, "Look, we really identify with yeah. it." But I rem you know, I know the neighbors who have neighbors who have cars in their front yeah. yards, you know, and these cars are never going to run. Right. But if you talk to the guy, you oh, yeah. swear all it needs is a fan belt. That's right. <laughs> and it's going to go. Go, yeah. really? Right. How about it goes down the road and out into a, you know, <laughs> a junkyard? So, and what happened was Richard Petty did a small cameo in Swing Vote. I hope mm -hmm. people actually go see that movie at some point. And you're going to see Richard was in there. And we added on a verse for him in that song, so right. you see, there's something to the king. Tail end. Uh, speaking of NASCAR, you've uh, you voiced or narrated a, uh, a documentary yeah. that uh, people actually can see coming up in December. Folks, look out for a NASCAR: The Ride of Their Lives. Yeah. Uh, which you but you actually got to watch this because a lot of people when they do narration, you don't see the production first, but you saw it before you narrated. Right? I wanted to see it yeah. first, and so you know. Um, you know, they, they'd, they'd run up against our music, and then we started having a conversation, and the France family just really um, began to take me in and, and, and asked me to look at this documentary of the last 60 years. Mm -hmm. And it was really, I thought it was very, very impressive. And then they asked me, would you narrate it? And I tried to suggest five other people who I think, right. I don't really like my own voice. I'm not comfortable with it. I always, I always think there's other guys that should do it. Mm -hmm but they wanted me to do it, and so I did, and I, I was glad to be a part of that, that history. Right, right, well check it out guys uh, on December and, and DVD, it'll be in DVD soon. Uh, well, uh, with the music and Untold Truths, do you, uh, how much focus now are you uh, applying towards your, uh, to your music? As, as much as I do movies, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, when I do something, I, you know, I, I don't think that what I do is serious, but I take what I do seriously, right. so, um, you know, I work really hard on the songs, and and a lot of the songs don't make it. Mm -hmm. You know, the in, the way the band works is that, you know, I break all the ties. Mm -hmm. You know, I decide yeah. what we will do and what we what we what we won't do. But yeah. um, I think about it a lot. I you know I we're going to put a show on tonight at the stage. We're going to play tomorrow night, right off that at the Chevy Theater, whatever mm -hmm. they call it. And it's important to me to practice. You know, it's important to me to put on the very best show mm. that I that I can. I, I, it matters to me what happens. Yeah, that's important. And nothing's going to happen good unless you practice. Right on, right on. True.